how do I engage the reader with the thoughts and feelings of the characters in the story? In this lesson, you will learn to engage the reader by adding descriptions of actions, thoughts, and feelings to your narrative reading response. Here's the prompt we've been using. Write a narrative short story to respond to the following prompt. What might happen if the speaker of the poem met someone who was littering on her hill? How would she react? Be sure to establish the situation and include dialogue, actions, thoughts, and feelings to show how the speaker would respond to the situation. The steps that we use in the writing process are 1. A close reading and analysis of the text. 2. Read the assignment or writing prompt. 3. Generate and plan for our response. 4 draft and revise our response, and 5. Edit and publish our response for a final copy. In this lesson, we will continue working on Step 4 in order to add details to show what the characters are thinking. Let's review. When we use descriptive details to show what the characters are thinking and feeling, this helps the reader understand their point of view. Here are the steps we'll use. One. Reread your story, stopping at places where the character could be thinking or feeling something. 2. Ask yourself, how would my character feel or act if this were happening? 3. Add a sentence or two describing the feeling or actions by telling what the character is thinking or what their face and body are doing. I need to reread my story again, this time stopping at places where the character could be thinking or feeling something. Let's try it with the third paragraph. Amy stopped and took a deep breath. Amy decided to be a little nicer to Chad. He probably didn't know that lettering wasn't okay. Hmm, maybe I could stop here and tell about what Amy was thinking when she decided to be nicer to Chad. So now I ask myself, how would my character feel or act if this were happening? I bet that Amy has a reason to decide to be nicer to Chad. Maybe she was the new kid once too. That way she would be able to understand what Chad is going through. My third step is to add a sentence or two describing the feeling or actions by telling what the character is thinking or what their face and body are doing. I bet Amy is thinking something. Hmm. She thought about when her family had moved here and she didn't have any friends. She was very sad back then. This hill had been her favorite place to go when she needed a quiet place to think. It was still her favorite place to go. If Chad was new here, he probably felt the same way. Yeah, that's a good way to tell what Amy is thinking. I will finish off my last paragraph by adding what I have already written onto the end. Here is my finished product. It is getting more and more details every time I revise. Here are the steps that we are using in our writing process. In this lesson, we have worked on step four, revising our paper by adding details to show what the characters are thinking or feeling. Next, we will continue to revise our story to add better word choice to what we have written. One, reread your story stopping at places where the character could be thinking or feeling something. 2. Ask yourself, how would my character feel or act if this were happening? 3. Add a sentence or two describing the feeling or actions by telling what the character is thinking or what their face and body are doing. In this lesson, you have learned to engage the reader by adding descriptions of actions, thoughts, and feelings to your narrative reading response. 